welcome to this first episode of my um, basic 2D motion graphics tutorial, uh, basically an After Effects tutorial um, for people specializing on motion graphics. So, well, if you have installed After Effects and you open up first, um, if you have the version CC 2015, uh, this will pop up, but I usually just close it. Um, so, no, you have this. Well, I'm gonna hide this script right here because you shouldn't... Um, because when you begin with After Effects, you shouldn't use scripts. You should get the basic um, movement ideas and any other principles before you start using scripts to improve and fasten your workflow. So, anyways, let's get started. Uh, by just making a new project. Before this tutorial starts, I'm gonna say right away, we will making this uh, animation which you saw in the beginning and in the announcement video, we will be making this uh, ongoing from next video, but I want you to see and learn the basics of After Effects first, the very basics and the overview uh, before we make our first nice shape animation. You know, I'm a big shortcut fan. I'm gonna sh uh, show all of the shortcuts down at the bottom of the screen, but um, so I will also show you a way how to do everything without shortcuts. So you can go to file and say new, new project. I usually just click uh, Alt Control N, at least on Mac. And then I click uh, Control N for a new composition. And basically, what a composition is, that's um, one composition can contain any animations, videos, whatever. But in one project, there can be unlimited compositions. And you can also make compositions where you put compositions into. So I'm going to show this uh, with an example. I'm going to make a new composition and then press Ctrl N once again, make another composition. Then I will see all my compositions in here and I can drag my comp1 into here. So basically you can staple your comps however you want it. Uh, I'm just going to delete this one. Okay. So now I got this composition, right? And you might see, the, see a black background here or a, a transparency grid. So this, this grid is called a transparency grid. You can activate and deactivate this right here. So I have seen a lot of tutorials <clears throat> for beginners uh, on After Effects. And I've seen people doing to, um, showing how to make gradients and whatever effect onto their backgrounds or whatever in the beginning tutorials. I think uh, in many of those videos some basic things are not shown and I was feeling pretty helpless uh, when I first learned After Effects by just watching those tutorials. So I guess I'm gonna show you those um, some some quick uh, quick basics which you should know and how to do them. So first of all, which we're gonna do very often, is I'm gonna create a shape. Okay, a shape. You can see all those tools up here, all those. Uh, complicated looking tools. But this tool here with a little arrow where you can select any um, shape you want. With this, when you select this, you can draw a shape in this uh, canvas area I call, in this composition. Um, so I'm just gonna make some square thing just to demonstrate. And well, don't care about the colors, only if there is no color selected you can um, just click on this field and select any color you want. I'm going to go into this in detail later. So then when you want to zoom in, you basically just roll your mouse wheel or click on this and select whatever. And when you preview, I would suggest fit up to 100%. And uh, well, when I want to um, edit some detailing, and I want to zoom in and then I want to zoom into this edge, then I basically always press H to get to my hand tool, which you can also select by just pressing this 
and then I can drag my composition wherever I want without moving anything. Then I can click on fit up to 100% again and everything is fine again. And then when you want to select this um, selection tool again, just press V. You can always see those shortcuts uh, uh, on the right. Okay, so something else that I have never ever seen in any beginner tutorial in After Effects, which I think is pretty necessary, is um, the of the helping lines and tools. So what I mean by that is I'm just gonna click on this and delete it by pressing the delete button. Um, so what I mean with grids and so on, it's basically all down here. Choose grid and guide options. So you can select title action save, uh, where, you can, where you can see a cross in the middle and some other pretty useless lines. And there's also the proportional grid which is, yeah, it may be helpful, but I usually always select the title action save and then I activate the grid, okay? You can also select the grid by pressing Control, Shift, Control, Shift and uh, apostrophe or hashtag. I don't know, on Mac it's this hashtag or apostrophe. Um, anyways, when you have this grid, Wait, I'm gonna deselect, uh, I'm gonna select transparency again by pressing this button so I can see my grid better. And then when you go to view, you can select snap to grid. And what this does is I can now draw shapes which, well, snap to the grid. So I will show you that as an, uh, with an example. So um, your shape will always fit into all these little squares, which is pretty useful, which will be pretty useful when you um, want to make um, complicated shape, movement, animations, whatever. I'm always pretty picky when it comes to um, eyeballing something into the middle also. That's why I always have the grid selected. No, actually not always. I've selected it when uh, creating shapes. So I'm just going to delete this shape again. So now let's get to um, the basic settings you want to make when you create an animation. So I'm just going to deselect the grid again by pressing Control Shift Hashtag. And then I'm actually going to make a solid. What a solid is? Uh, a solid is, wait, I'm going to create it first then I'll tell you what it is. So press Control Y or you can also go to a layer new solid but I will always suggest just pressing um, just learning those shortcuts because they become really useful after time so control Y and then we can create a solid we have some settings here so these sizes can be anything right there um, but I would suggest always make it comp size which is actually the basic setting um, because I kind of always use it as a background so uh, I can use a, I can select the color here. I'm just gonna select white, and when I click on OK, we will see a white background. In 2D space, this is basically a shape. You can also create a like a solid style thing. I'm just gonna deactivate this layer so you can. When you click on this eye, and it disappears, you won't see the layer. Okay. So when I double click on the rectangle tool, for example, it will fill out the comp. So you can make backgrounds like that too, if you want to. Anyways, I'm gonna show this again by clicking on this eye. And then I'm gonna show you how to make your first animation. So click on this shape tool again or press Q. Uh, oh, and also I forgot, if you press Q, Q more times, you will uh, select other the other shapes so this is this is for all those tools uh, with a little arrow on the right so if I click on G for the pen tool and I click again it will select my other option it will switch between between those so um, I press Q until the square comes up okay so as I said in the beginning I won't be creating the animation which we saw in the announcement video and in the beginning before um, 
just because I want you to learn the basics, uh, the the overview of After Effects. Of course, you will learn all the basics in uh, the Soul tutorial series, but in the, this first tutorial, I want you to learn the overview of After Effects, so you get at least a little bit of more confident and whatever the words are for, um, you know, you get used to After Effects and you are not completely, you don't feel completely lost in this program. So anyways, um, I will select this shape tool and then I can select my fill color, which is basically the inside color of my shape. I can also make a stroke color. I'm just going to demonstrate that by making the stroke color black and drawing a shape. So you see the fill is this blue and stroke black. Um, now I'm going to show you some pretty useful shape building shortcuts, I guess. So I will just make a shape, I guess, somewhere here. And if you drag it out, you will see it's not proportional. It's not a square. It's um, just basically a rectangle. And if you click shift, it's gonna fit, uh, it's gonna um, keep proportions, constrain proportions, and it will always be a square. And I will release shift again. Then I click alt. When you click alt, you can see what the shape will look like. So for example, if there, uh, if there is a shape which looks like this, and you don't want to not see this shape, you want to fit it exactly on this shape, you will most likely want to use this technique so you can see how much of the shape you cover. And when you release it, you will see the whole shape again. And now, last one um, is going to be control. If you go, if I click control, it will go out from the middle. So we can also uh, combine from the middle, so control and shift. So it will always make a square going on from the middle. And if we press Alt 2, well, we can also see what the shape is going to look like. So I just uh, release Alt and then I can drag it however I want it. And yeah, that's uh, basically some basic uh, shortcuts which you, I, I say, uh, I'll say you have to learn them because that is always so useful when making shapes. This, uh, this is for any shape. So this is also for uh, the rounded rectangle, for the circle, for polygon, whatever. Anyways, so now that I got this square, I'm going to show you how to animate this, how to do something with this. So um, when we have this, when we created a shape, we'll have this uh, layer here, this shape layer. We can call it, we can rename it by just pressing enter and type in shape, whatever you want. And when you click this little arrow, you will uh, see contents and transform. So the contents thing, this is for all the shapes that are on this layer. So for instance, I will click on this shape layer and I will select the shape layer and I draw another shape. I will have two, two uh, separate shapes here, two rectangles. And the transform is basically all the properties for the whole layer. So for this as a layer, whoops, this is a layer and not those two separately. So if we go down to those separately, I will have a lot of options and I won't show them right now because it's kind of confusing. I will just go down to transform. Now you will see anchor point, position, scale, rotation, opacity. Those are pretty much the basic, um, the basic properties you're going to use for animating shapes. I'm going to delete one of those rectangles again, just so to not get confused. And well, the position, you can, you can move around the position by dragging it up or down, you know, or by clicking it and typing in some value. I'm going to undo this by pressing Ctrl Z. Okay, now the scale scales the square up. We will get to this problem, which occurs right here uh, later on in this video. So I can scale it up and scale it down, you know, and also there's rotation you may wonder why it doesn't rotate from the middle. I will show you that right away.
So opacity, clear, yeah, changes the opacity. So why does it rotate around this little thing and not like from the middle? It's pretty easy. Um, when you create a shape, After Effects automatically sets your anchor point to the very middle of your composition. This here is the anchor point. Wait, I'm gonna hide uh, title action save. This thing is your anchor point. Uh, control set. Okay, so how do we move this anchor point? We can either drag it uh, somewhere into the square right here. Okay, and try. Now we, uh, it's already better. But what you can also do, select this tool here, pan behind anchor point tool by pressing Y or just clicking on it. And then you can select this anchor point and drag it wherever you want to. So what this does, the advantage of this is um, that the square will stay there where it already is. Um, that's because this tool doesn't only move the anchor point, but it also moves the shape within the anchor point. So this is kind of kind of uh, hard to explain right there, but if I um, drag the anchor point to somewhere else here, you will see the position will always stay the same. That's why it's moving right there. It's moving. Um, so that's why this tool is pretty useful. And if you want to attach it in the very middle, drag it around, press control, and then it will snap to the, whoops, will snap to the middle. Okay. So if you see this little, whoops, this blue box, you will see it snaps. Okay, perfect. And just very quick explainer right here. Um, when you want to animate something or get to a property and change something, you don't go down to this arrow and go to this arrow. Uh, so we have um, a short key for every of this property, any of these properties. So click on your um, on your layer and press U to hide anything. And then you can press A for the anchor point. Then you can press P for the position, S for scale, T for opacity, and R for rotation. Uh, so you will have to use this a lot of times. Um, so I would suggest learning it. What you can also do is press, uh, so when you have, for example, rotation selected, it's visible, you can press shift and press S for scale and press T for opacity and then you will see all of those. So now there's this big question, how do I animate this? And how to animate this, I will show you in the next video, which is gonna be the first video where we're actually gonna start with the animation, which I showed you at the beginning. I hope this was kind of helpful to get used to After Effects and um, you know the basic tools and whatever. And we will, don't worry, we will get to the text tool, um, pen tool, camera tool, zoom tool, whatever. We will all get to that. But I will. I just you can't learn After Effects in 20 minutes, as some uh, videos on YouTube say they say learn after fix in 20 minutes but you can't i tell you you can't ever learn after fix you know i haven't learned after effects yet too i can just do cool motion graphics i guess but there is so much to this program so i want you to learn this very these very basics i showed you uh, showed you in this video and uh, then in the next videos we will be creating our first animation you will also be able to download it uh, somewhere in the description. That was it with this video and stay updated. Part 2 will be out soon. See you.